Kenneth White and Marquise Bird both lost their lives just being in the wrong place at the wrong time because some teenage boys wanted to play a game. This is the story of the I-75 rock-throwing murders. Good evening. Oh, it is Thursday, March 28th. I am so glad I am able to finally get this episode 100 up for everybody. I'm going to go ahead and release it tonight if it will download. Um, Oh my gosh, it has been a busy week. Um, I just got home a little while ago from the hospice home that my dad is in. He's looking very good, doing very well. I had my coffee there, which was not my usual cup of Java Mama, but it was very good coffee. I needed a pick-me-up after work. So I went up there, had some cookies and some coffee, and I am now home with Twisted Tea. That's what I'm drinking, and it is half and half, which is half lemonade, half tea, but it's Twisted Tea, and it's got alcohol in it. Man, I love these. They're so refreshing. So I thought I would wind down the night with that. I have not eaten dinner yet, but I am so glad to finally (laughs) be podcasting on this episode because this is one thing I actually caught this story on the TV at the hospital when I was visiting my dad. And I'm like, I'm going to look into this more because I never heard about it. So this is the I-75 Rock Throwing Murders, and it is episode 100. Thank you, everybody, for your support. I never thought I'd make it to 100 episodes. Now, some of these are on Patreon, and there has been a couple deleted that were just about movies that I did, but it is it is episode 100. <laughs> um, my sources are Wikipedia, ktla.com, dailymail.co.uk. So, um... This is a very sad, and it actually, something like this happened in our area once a long time ago. Um, I don't know if, uh, what happened to the people who did it, and I don't know their names or anything, because somebody told me about it, that it had happened, and I never did hear, but it is such a sad story. Um, talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time, because kids wanted to play a game. I wanted to talk about this because... Please, this is not a game. I don't understand why anybody would think this is a game, even as a teenager. Very dangerous. Now, the first one happened in Michigan, Vienna Township. Five teenage boys wanted to play a game on October 18th of 2017. They were Kyle Anger, age 17, McCadden Payne, if I'm saying that right, 16, Trevor Gray, 15, Alexander Miller, 15, and Mark Sakelski, 16. Their game was called Overpassing. And they earn points. Well, they earn dingers. If they hit a vehicle, dingers are points. They decided to gather some large rocks. And when I say large, one of them weighed 20 pounds. They went down this dead end road, gather all these rocks up, and put them in the back of a pickup truck. Then they went to Dodge Road, the Dodge Road overpass, to play. 32 year old Kenneth White, a construction worker, was a passenger in a van, riding down Interstate 75, 80 miles north of Detroit. A six pound rock came crashing through the windshield, killing him, a father of four. Four little kids. I think his youngest was five. And he had a future with his fiance. He had a fracture. The rock fractured his skull and chest, killing him. Then after their victory from this game that killed Kenneth, they were hungry and went to a fast food restaurant. After hearing about Kenneth... The kids started texting each other. One of the texts said, 
quote, We could go to prison for life for this. Everyone lay low and no one rat us out. Another text. No one saw us. If everyone shuts up, we won't get caught. While police easily found footage of the fast food place and the truck that they were in when they left the scene. Someone, I don't know if it was the police or someone just happened to see that truck take off. Um, But that was when they contacted the families of these kids and let them know they had a warrant out for their arrest. I don't get this, but I guess they couldn't be arrested since they were minors. But they had to surrender by a certain time. And so then I guess they could have been, could be arrested from my understanding. So they gave them a certain time that day and they all surrendered. They were charged with secondary murder. Four of them took deals for a reduced charge of manslaughter. The judge ordered that they, they need to be tried as adults. They were trying to get it so that they couldn't, they wouldn't be tried as adults because they were so young. But the judge said, nope, you're going to be tried as adults. And then somehow that got changed I don't know how it got changed but Kyle Anger was the one who threw the rock pled guilty to second degree murder and um, he threw the rock that killed Kenneth White he got three to 20 years with time served already at 740 days in jail and he was released in January of 2021 after 39 months all of the others got one year probation Um, I saw the story on the news. Um, I don't know what channel it was, if it was CNN. I I don't remember what news channel it was at the hospital. And um, they showed him in court and the judge told them when he said they will be tried as adults. Of course, that got thrown out. That they were told, I heard him say that they actually threw not only rocks, but there were times when they throw a couch or a chair over the interstate. Why? Is this a game? What would, I mean, I don't know what would possess anybody to do this. I mean, anybody. I grew up with brothers and this was never, I mean, you never heard of this. Um, it, It's so sad. It's sad all around, really, because, and they they admitted in an article that I looked up that they were just dumb kids, but this is more than just dumb kids. This is like murdering somebody. I mean, you don't think somebody's going to get hurt, I guess. I don't know if they didn't think that, but oh my, it's just so sad. There's another one. Two months later, after Kenneth's, Kenneth, yeah, if I could talk, Kenneth's death in Toledo, Ohio, I-75 again. December 19th, 2017, four teenage boys, Pedro Salinas, 13, Demetrius Wimberly, 14, Sean Carter, 14, and William Parker, 15, were crossing the highway on a bridge. They were just going to go buy candy, but they saw rocks lying on the ground. So they just decided to, you know, throw them down at cars. Um, I don't know if this was actually a game. It, this sounded to me like it was just a random thing to do. Like they just saw it. Oh, let's throw some rocks. So... They started to throw the rocks and then they threw two sandbags. One sandbag went down. The second one, they heard it make a loud noise and then they fled on foot. They weren't even driving. I mean, they were too young to drive anyway. Um, They fled on foot, went to get their candy. On the way back, going across back over that bridge, the police were there to meet them. A 22-year-old man, Marquise Bird, a father of a two-year-old, was a passenger in a vehicle and was killed by that second handbag. I will say this, both of these were passengers, which in a way, it's a good thing it wasn't a driver. Because if this happened to a driver, more people would have probably been killed. They would have been hitting car. I mean, who knows what would have happened. But saying that, Pedro Salinas, the 13-year-old, confessed to throwing the sandbag. The youngest kid in the group threw that second sandbag and was sentenced to the Department of Youth Services until the age of 21. The other teens got three years in that same youth department. So they got three years. He got to age 21. But guess what? All these sentences were suspended. 
um, they were suspended so they could go into the youth treatment center in Lucas County instead. It's typical that kids serve only eight months in that center. I don't know what the difference is between the treatment center. I'm guessing it's like a mental health uh, rather than... Um, The youth uh, Department of Youth Services. I guess it sounds to me like this is a treatment center for for um, counseling, which I understand. Kids do need counseling for this. They need to know this was the wrong thing to do. I mean, come on. That there's got to be something that they know, you know to help that. But I still think that they could have served their time in the youth center. Um, Marquise Bird's family was not happy about this. Marquise will never get to come home, but these boys will. That was a statement made from his mother. Marquise Bird was planning on proposing to the mother of his two-year-old son when he died. Because of this crime, fencing was put up along the overpass, and Ohio is requiring that this be done on highway overpasses. We actually have some here um, that I've noticed that we got up, but there's also some that don't have the fencing up. Um, matter of fact, I noticed that on my way home. If I wasn't driving, I could have taken a photo to show, but, um, there was a couple I passed right above me that had the fencing and then one bridge overpass did not. I don't know. I mean, it, it's a newer one that was built, but I'm hoping that they get that put up too. That is actually a very busy, busy highway area with a lot of ramps. I, people can walk across it. But I'm hoping that they do something to put that up there because I'm hoping more states will follow suit with this. And I think every overpass should have some kind of protection. You shouldn't be able to be dri j just driving down the road, going home or going to work or wherever you're going. And then all of a sudden, something comes crashing down because some kids want to play a game or they just do it by random just for fun. And then you get killed. You've got kids, you've got families. Anybody can get killed just by throwing something down at a car or at a car. And once it hits the windshield, oh my gosh, I just don't understand why. I will never understand this at all. I just won't. I never, ever thought of doing that. I mean, I know some kids that cars will go by and you just have little pebbles and you'll throw it, but then you're like, oh crap, I shouldn't have done that. Um, but... This is just really bad, especially um, a six pound rock, one weighed, 20, one weighed 20 pounds in the Michigan story. And um, I wanted to talk about this because this is a very serious matter. And to so please <laughs> do not ever, ever think it's a game to throw something like this, like a weapon at a car or at a person or anything. It's, it, it's just very, very sad. Um, young kids, actually, these kids got it, got a very, very light sentence. And some kids might not be that lucky. You know, they can be getting a lot stricter on these. Um, I understand they didn't mean, probably didn't mean to kill each other, kill somebody. But wouldn't you think, especially if you threw larger items like a chair or couch, I swear that judge said couch when I was watching that. And I'm like, how can they all throw a couch? Because they've done this more than once, the first group of kids here in Michigan, because it was a game that they would play regularly. It sounded like to me. So I just wanted to put this, uh, talk about this. I did not get very much more information on these stories. Uh, I looked up, um, they all basically said about the same thing about this case. Um, and... Um, it, like I said, it's just so sad all around for every, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, okay. I got to stop thinking about it because it makes me think someday I'm going to be driving down the highway and something like this is going to happen. And it's so scary, but I wanted to thank everybody for your support for this. I know I've been busy. I've been working straight from work, going to visit my dad, coming home, getting a shower, feeding my cats. And then by then it's just time for dinner or whatever I'm doing for the rest of the night. And I usually like to just unwind. Um, so um, I am going to try to get another Patreon episode. I have plans on which one I am going to do. I just 
heard about it on a Netflix series called ah uh, it, it's a, it's a documentary but it's got episodes it's uh, about murders in Manhattan it's either called New York murders or Manhattan murders or so, it might be called New York murders but it's all about the different parts of Manhattan I think it's like North Manhattan South Manhattan and their police departments and how they solve crimes and their big time murders um it is a very good series but I watched them all I think I didn't realize it was only it was brand new and it was only one season there's only like I don't know five six episodes I watched them all I was getting ready to watch the next one and I'm like I'm done but there's one on there that I I want to talk about if I can find more information on it man it's a it, it's a good one so um, I'm going to try to get that up on Patreon. I don't know. I might be able to do it this weekend. My goal was to get that third one up in March and I just still might make it. I just might make it because I'm off on the weekend. And then April 1st, April Fool's Day is coming Monday. So it's April already almost. Um, but I'm so happy for all your support. Everybody for um, supporting the podcast and subscribing on Patreon. You get three bonus episodes a month. Um definitely two and I I I this month I am striving to get that third one up because um so right now I started it last September so when you think about it there's seven months there's six months with three episodes you can do the math <laughs> with six times three 18 so 18 19 20 there's 20 20 bonus episodes up on patreon and Spotify Premium. All it is is $5 and you get to go back and listen to all of them. And it's movies that are stories that movies were based on, true crime that uh, that movies were based on, old Hollywood movies or murders and more high profile ones. High profile that isn't well known or may have been forgotten. I try to do ones that are not normally done and if they are, they're ones that are, are like from an older time that um you might not have heard about I try to do those I know there's probably a couple on there of course that you've heard about but um I just wanted to throw that in there and um murder made me famous I'm watching that I think that's on Peacock that's another series I've been watching that and the New York one that um hope they come out with a second season soon because that's a good Netflix series I'm all about the true crime series and the documentaries, but there's a lot of other things on there I would like to watch that I haven't got to. I've just been so busy. So I like to come home and unwind with my true crime. That's basically what I do. So um, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful Friday and a safe weekend. And like I said, I will see you next month or for one more episode this month in Patreon if I can get it in this weekend. So Thanks again, everybody, and happy Easter. Easter is Sunday. Have a wonderful Easter. Um, If you're having dinner or anything like that. Um, So I'm hoping that we have a pretty good one. Of course, I'm going to go and visit my dad, and uh, it'll be nice to to be with him uh, over the weekend. So thanks again, everybody. Have a wonderful Easter and a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time.